hello tuesday the 18th of july 2023 moon is moving from cancer that wasn't a very good face was it? i don't know what i was depicting there i was supposed to be like somebody looking all kind of hmm. oh well um into leo which is like so you may be feeling it's in the uk it's like 20 to 6 in the morning when that happens so you might like wake up with a bit of a kind of spring in your step or a roar um, we're going to have a look at, it's very windy today by the way, um, I'm just looking outside, everything's blowing. We're going to have a look at Granny's Scary Postcard Tarot or whatever it's called, Granny's Postcard. Postcards from Granny's Wardrobe, I think that's what we might call it. And see, I thought we needed a little bit of either a laugh or a shock, I don't know which one, it could be both, couldn't it? Anything can happen. One of my contact lenses has gone weird for a start. Okay. Oh yes, juicy gossip. One of my neighbours told me the other day um, in the street, has a very floofy cat as well, really gorgeous cat. I think actually I put his cat on uh, the community tab ages ago, like maybe a year and a half ago, fluffy cat or something like that, you know, the big scary cat. Anyway, chit-chatting with him in the street, apparently one of the hotels got done for renting rooms out by the hour. I know, I was like, for shame, in our street, that kind of thing happening. So yeah, there you go, juicy gossip from the street. You don't get much juicy gossip in my street, I have to say. So I was very appreciative of it, oh gosh. <laughs> oh god goose man oh jesus we're not doing reversals we don't even need them with this thing we'll see how it goes it may all be a bit too benny hill oh okay but that can be forgiven Good. I don't know why that is what it is though. Weird. Nor that. Oh wow. Oh that's so nice. Okay, so the nice cards are kind of making up for the more Benny Hill kind of cards. I have to say, not a massive fan of Benny Hill, but there you go. So, overall energy card. This very old-fashioned, but really romantic-looking Two of Cups. Now that I can cope with. These clothes are interesting. Kind of looks like, you know, the stripe you get on an Adidas tracksuit. Um, but good kiss. Good kiss and some good blusher there as well. Two of Cups, Venus in Cancer. So this could be love, it could be a relationship vibe, it's kind of more likely to be just a feeling of enjoying spending time with somebody or wanting to see somebody or um, connection because in the middle of the reading something looks really dark for some reason. That's a bit strange isn't it? You can see my camera there as well, it's very arty. Um, we've, we've got the Ace of Cups. Um, what do they call it? Is it a billet? No, it's not a billet do, is it? It must be a billet amour or something like that. So back in the day, you know, the good old days when people wax sealed their letters. And of course, you know that I have my own wax seal with a G on. I know, nothing like a wax seal on a letter, even if we are in 2023. They still go a long way. Um, and then, of course, lovers would either use the penny post or even hand deliver. Now, this lady's very popular. You can see there's about three letters coming through. Maybe that she's got three people on the go or maybe there's just three admirers, you know. She's like, this is good. I've got my rotation going. I've watched Gemma's video on Match.com profiles, Big Fish and Lions. And I'm like, I'm playing the game here, you know. I'm hedging my bets. So when we got the Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups, 
we feel quite blessed that's rather nice um love stuff is looking good stuff on relationships is looking good it almost makes the next two cards forgivable so i this give me look <laughs> so goosey p man which just kind of everything about this card gives me the creeps but hey it's the nine of swords so it's kind of supposed to give you the creeps but more in a sort of staying up and can't sleep spooky sense maybe than that kind of maths face what's happening with the goose type thing but anyway nine of swords some of us may be very worried about love at the moment because nine of swords is the worrying card and the hanged man which is a woman upside down and a bloke peering up her skirt which i'm not even going to show that closely because it's just really benny hill um could be that somebody isn't coming through you know with the message that you want and that you're waiting and of course when we get the hanged man it's neptunian energy and it's the message that maybe it's the right thing to be waiting maybe you don't know everything you need to know about it yet okay we then have the two of swords which is very strange so two of swords is what looks like the fool i suppose gathering holly yeah with a dog that's why it reminds me of the fool do you think maybe they meant to do the fool and then they kind of i suppose they're not on the edge of a cliff are they so two of swords of course normally this is not observing many of the rider weight traditions so normally with the two of swords you would get a new moon and we're in new moon energy so that part yes although there isn't one here um, and you would get like a blindfold and you get the two swords crossing each other now you know this person could have crossed the two things like that that would have done it but anywho two of swords is a mini version you know how the six of cups is a mini version of judgment two of swords is a mini version of the hanged man so it's the energy of waiting i'm afraid now if you've got the two of cups and the ace of cups it might actually be worth waiting for i know and then here we have again i absolutely have no idea and please let me know if you have any thoughts on why this one is the knight of swords so the knight of swords is a gemini libra aquarius usually delivering a message on a horse dashing have to deliver the message you know it's the messenger communication um don't really know what they're doing because also you would think he needed to throw his coat down on the pu on the puddle rather than you know come with me i've i've got a really good umbrella but your feet are going to get wet don't really understand but anywho knight of swords says there will be some sudden communication so i would bear that in mind you know when you've got over the whole goose imagery and all that stuff um there may be some hanging around it's very very necessary and it's not really hanging around when you get the hanged man um normally with the hanged man you'd get the uh, ray of light wouldn't you around the crown chakra it's because there's something else you need to know okay right i'm going to take a love card as well because I feel like we might need to cleanse our palette a little. Not sure about the granny's wardrobe deck. What do you reckon? It's worth a hoot, isn't it? Now and again, I think. Oh God, I've, I've gone off. Hang on. I meant to go. Yeah. I can't get over it. The boys changed all the settings. Right. Yes. Belinda Grace love cards. We get the gardener. When you get the gardener, the universe is reminding you of all of the difficult stuff that goes into making a beautiful garden grow. And I think we're supposed to kind of think of the relationship as a garden. And if you want it to bloom, you've got to pile up, you know, the poo and do the composting and pull the weeds and, you know, put in the spade work behind the scenes. And I don't think that the onus entirely falls to you. I think with this, it's whether the relationship has enough structure and discipline and consistency and whether the person can tend to things it's a very nice word a verb i think tend people need to tend to each other when it's a relationship 
so something about that is a little bit oh god wrong way a little bit off and maybe needs some adjustment okay and this can be relationships with families co-workers um, friends as well as lovers so leave me a comment both about whether you like this tarot or you'd like me to sort of ritually burn it or um, anything else about the reading and i will see you tomorrow namaste